It's the radio guy, Mike France, with a special episode. Have on the line with us right now, Coach Sandy Pugh. Huge win for Jackson State. And before we get any further down the road, Coach, you got to tell the folk what I sent you before we get this thing started. How are you doing today? Doing great. Doing great, Mike. I happen to be online with you this morning. And, uh... Yeah, it was a great win for the kids last night. Um, did a good job for us. Yeah, you did. You you you, you predicted it. I predicted it. Uh, did we get them by? Uh, I think it was six, wasn't it? Yeah, I said six. And, uh, I was. All, I'll be. I don't mind being off by four, but I, I had it in my <laughs> gut feeling, man, and everybody kept calling me crazy. But I've been called worse things than that. It was a recap on last night's performance. The, the hardest part of it is the turnaround. We had played a Grambling on Saturday, and um, we you, you literally only had one day to prepare for a, a good team. We, we felt like our matchup was probably the best in the conference in, in relationships to them. They had played Texas Southern on Saturday, and without Nia Mitchell, they weren't able to uh, pull it out. I think one of uh, Cynthia's kids got injured, her big kid, so... Uh, they were able to go in there and beat Texas Southern. But, you know, I, I talked to uh, those punches at Southern a couple of weeks ago, and I told them, I said, you know, I felt like we, we just kind of let one slip away at Jackson because, you know, we um, didn't rebound the ball well. I mean, they, they hammered us on the glass. So that was a focal point going into this game. And I felt like that if we could take care of, uh, you know, rebounding the basketball, um, that we could, we'd had a better shot of, of beating them. So that was a focal point, and our kids really did a good job. In this game, I think we re- out-rebounded them by eight, uh, kept them off the old board, um, did a good job with uh, the Williams kid, uh, the, the Mississippi State transfer. Uh, we only had, we held her to just five points. So um, and I thought that was a big, big piece to that. Uh, we had three players double digits, but it was good distribution all the way around. And if I am seeing something, please correct me, but I've noticed here of recent last two or three ball games, there's been a certain resurgence, if you would, of Miss Dominique Newman. Has she been somewhat of the missing piece to help get this PV train back on its course? She really has. You know, she's the toughest kid I got. I mean, when I tell you as tough as nails. I mean, uh, he just goes at it. I mean, the last couple of basketball games, she has really asserted herself on the board. Uh, last night, she went and got a, down the stretch about three rebounds. I mean, she was in there warring up. So um, it's just asserting herself that way. She's hitting her jump shot. Um, definitely have found her groove. Stay on her teammates about stepping up their game to being tougher and she just said she just set the tone for us here lately and um it, 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 it's much needed and um uh, it's definitely come on at the right time because going down this back stretch you know i said before that we wanted an opportunity to host that first round game and we thought that was a critical piece and you know we, we're right in the hunt for that so Really pleased. We got two games on the road coming up, so we can go ahead and take care of that, come back home, and we can take care of business ourselves. Right now, the Panthers are one game behind A&M, technically in that number five spot. a and is at eight and four conference play, 12 and 11 overall. The Panthers at seven and five, a 10-14 record overall. So you're right within striking distance. You now go on the road to take on Pine Bluff, and Mississippi Valley, still some games that could sneak up and bite you if you don't come into those games focused, right, Coach? You know, I, I think we're in a good place. Uh, the kids are in a good place mentally. You know, they're excited. Uh, Mariah is stepping her game up and giving us the toughness in the lane that we needed, an athletic kid who can um, guard the ball and, and hit the mid-range jump shot. KP has really stepped up. And it's given us more kick and shoot the basketball. This this game uh, against Jackson, the first game for Diana Rosenthal, it really get back into her groove. 
three games previously. She just can't seem really out of sort and uh, out of rhythm. So I was happy to see her get going. The first half, she told us. And then the second half, you were able to see Bernie and a couple of the others step up. Dominique, you know, Bernie didn't play Saturday because she's had some problems with her Achilles. I was playing her sparingly uh, last night. She just looked at me and said, I am good. I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, little mom, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, she answered the bell just as the Panthers did, striking real close now to that desired position of hosting a first-round playoff game. Coach, I know that this is normally one of your woosaw days, and I appreciate you so much for making yourself available. Uh, Panthers pull off what some was the impossible, snapping the 12-game win streak of the Jackson State Tigers as they now prepare to go on the road to take care of Pine Bluff and Mississippi Valley. Coach, I want to thank you. I'm going to give you a moment and opportunity now to uh, give some closing thoughts and comments. Well, I just want to thank the fans, uh, our, our boosters on the first row, the students, uh, the band. I mean, you guys were amazing. The atmosphere in that building last night was incredible for, for our kids. And uh, we, we really appreciate that energy. And, you know, Prairie View has hit, suddenly become the place nobody wants to play because of the energy and the excitement that is generated. Men's basketball has been a big, huge, probably majority of the reason of that with all the success Coach Byron has had. But just want to take time out to thank fans and the students uh, for coming out and supporting the kids. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys back in two weeks. All right, the Panthers take care of business at home. They get ready to go on the road trip before they come back to host those guys from Alabama. This has been a special edition of the Mike Prince Show with Coach Sandy Pugh of the Purdue a m University Women's Basketball Program. Until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.